All right, guys, it's Shalom with the Paradox Gaming Network, and it is May 11th, and we have blessed news. I've spent the better part of the afternoon just digging through all the people who were fortunate enough to get accepted into the Emissary Program. They were out at San Francisco today at that press conference. So I pulled out all the information that I think people are going to want in a nice, clean format. I'm going to talk about release dates, packages, pricing, and then I'm going to talk about a couple of things that have me a little concerned with NeoWiz and the fact that they seem to have fumbled on the one-yard line not once but twice this week. So let's get into that. Like I said, dates, packaging, pricing, and some really bad out-of-the-gate stuff. I'm hoping they can uh, turn some of this around. Get into those dates. Yes, Bless Online for Steam will release in the month of May. Unfortunately, it's going to release on 30 May, which is a Wednesday. That is going to put the two-day head start on the 28th of May, and that's only going to be available with a Founders Pack. Uh, just as a heads up, the 28th of May is Memorial Day. Kind of, kind of strange timing, but people were dead spot on. They. Uh, they saw that this game was labeled in between a game for a release on the 27th and the 29th. Got it confirmed today, so make your plans accordingly. Now, a little bit of information was passed on poorly during my stream today. At first, it seemed to come out that the Founders Packs were an add-on on top of the game. Uh, turns out that it's incorrect. The Founders Packs do, in fact, uh, contain a copy of the game and then some extras. Uh, just so people know, there is no early download. This is a Steam policy, um, according to NeoWiz. Now, I'm going to challenge that statement because I downloaded Battletech a day early, and then I had to do like a same-day release short patch. So I don't know where the no early download is coming from. Uh, like I said, I downloaded Battletech the night before. Uh, I also can say that this premium membership is $14.99 a month. Uh, we're going to talk about this later. Uh, and then 400 of the uh, Lumina, the uh, cash up currency, is $10. Now the reason why those are on this slide, I'm going to talk about them again, is I want to do the price pointing. And as you can see, uh, the game itself is $29.99, so you got to factor that in. With the Collector's Edition, you get that free copy, and the free copy also gets the early access, uh, just as a heads up. But if you notice the premium membership at $14.99 and then the store credits, uh, really putting your uh, your standard edition at about a $5 gain, you're putting your collector's edition actually $0.04 cents less uh, until you factor in the price of the cosmetics. So the big winner on this is the $70 pack. It is, it is very competitively priced. For those of you that would think to yourself, oh, I'll buy the $200 pack and I'll be able to give away the uh, other key, uh, you're actually financially better off buying two deluxe editions. So just on that heads up. Now again, if you're going for all the cosmetics, you're of course going to want the collector's edition. And really, $199 really caught me off guard. Uh, that's, that's triggering my spidey senses a little bit, that it's at $199. Pretty pretty big cash grab for uh, for this game. Uh, the pricing, like I said, twenty nine ninety nine is the buy to play price. Uh, this monthly subscription is optional. Uh, it, I, we need to get some more details on this. Really, uh, it is confirmed that you get cosmetics. Uh, it is confirmed that there are some XP boost items. Really strange. Again, it's another one of those things that's really kind of triggering me a little bit that it wasn't featured at the press release at the press conference today this close to go time it should have been a full feature now we've seen this in another game that i've covered recently where they did a little trickaroo little 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 shell game right at the end and then apparently the monthly subscription um adds items into the cash shop so let's go to the cash shop and $10 for those 400 credits. Don't know if there's going to be bulk pricing with a discount. Uh, we really do need more details what's in the shop. There's been some contradictory statements made, and those are the things that start to pile up. Uh, these are all the dropped passes of the week. Uh, some people have been adamantly yelling at me all day today that it's only cosmetics. Well, I already know that it's going to have boosts. NeoWiz has already said it. Uh, we found out today that inventory expansions are going to be via premium. Uh, this is what I call nickel and diming. Uh, I should not have to pay 
for inventory expansions and a buy to play game that has a subscription model. Now you're also charging me a cash shop. Uh, little, little unethical. Uh, you all know that I use the menu analogy and you get to order two meats off the menu. You get to be a box price. You get to be a sub model. You get to be a cash shop. You get to pick two. When you start picking three, I, I start to question your motives and it may have PVP tokens in it. Um, these are all things it's really difficult to wade through the information but this comes straight from them will there be an in-game store will it be pay to win yes there will be an in-game store we will offer cosmetic equipment skins awesome mounts and pets well that right there means that it's not just cosmetics and consumables that give services and boosts okay however the items will not offer special bonuses that lead to pay to win stop the, the paradox mentality is we don't say pay to win, we say, quote, pay to dot dot dot. Because you could call it winning, advantage, convenience, ease, whatever you want to call it. 66% of it is already in agreement. We're saying it's pay to. Uh, how much of the advantage? That's the subjective piece. So I'm really concerned. I have, I have concerns now. Jalan has concerns. Um, so believe nothing until we see it. Really, really concerned about the cash shop. Okay, I want to talk about some important notes now. Just a couple of real quick things. Uh, number one, no player-to-player -player trading. I know this is a deal breaker for some players. Some players just will not play a game with this system in place. So I want you to know before you drop down 30 bucks on the game, no player-to-player -player trading. Um, concerned about this too. They said that the cash shop items can't be uh, traded. So I don't know why you would have to eliminate all player-to-player -player trading. Again... Uh, gonna have to dig into more to, for the why behind this. I know I just talked about it a second ago. Inventory is expanded via premium. This is another sticking point for people. Uh, I'm one of those people. I don't like being nickeled and dimed. I think this is a huge mistake. And then the servers. I want people to know that normally in a North American game, the servers are located in California, Texas, somewhere centrally located. Uh, this time around, they're located in Virginia. A uh, little odd to me, a little odd. And for Europe, they are in Frankfurt. Uh, so just so you guys know, uh, for your ping dependency. Now, fumbling on the one yard line twice in one week. Uh, the, this is big, man. This goes to show that uh, I don't quite understand what's going on with NeoWiz, but they definitely don't have uh, everyone on the same page of the playbook. Uh, first and foremost, I talked about this in my show today. But this is how I feel that uh, Neo was, did their emissary program. Now, I didn't get accepted to the emissary program. I didn't really expect that I would get. I'm, I'm a small channel. But they built their pyramid upside down. And whenever you try to build a, a pyramid, just model it after the Egyptians, man. They got it right the first time. What they've done is they've done their marketing strategy to have a big name streamer on the top. They've got soda popping. And they're going to then have big name to go and cast a wide net and then they're going to have a big streamer stable and then at the very bottom onto the point they have content creators uh, the problem with this is is that you're not really leaving yourself a lot of room to build in a to build a community because what's going to happen is the big guy he's going to leave uh your streamers they're going to go to the next big thing because streamers are different from content creators streamers go to where they can make money now, here's your other problem, and this is your fumble. Chance is not coming to bless. His name has been removed. They, uh, Neo has got trolled, man. Um, they got, they got trolled. I would think that this is a big embarrassment. This is a lot of egg on the face. Are you telling me that you saw a 1.9 million follower streamer wanted to be in your emissary program and you didn't reach out to him, court him, talk to him? a work hand deal with him, uh, handshake deals. Uh, this doesn't speak well for your public relations. It, this is a, this is a big fall on your face. Some of the other emissaries that they have absolutely don't understand what those people are doing in an MMORPG emissary program. They're first person shooter players, completely different audience. They've got people who are on audio recordings saying that they weren't even gonna play the game. Now they have to play the game because they've been accepted to the program. Honestly, if you gave a, a, a damn about your emissary program, those clips would then lead to those people being removed immediately and showing that you actually wanna have a content creator program. 
because this is what it should look like. You have your big name on the top. Now, obviously, we know Soda Poppin's not going to be there, but you have your big name streamer. Uh, then you have a smaller streamer stable, and then you have content creators on the bottom. And here's why. Are you going to have your main headliner that's going to show up at your game, uh, wave a couple of times, shake their hat, sign a few autographs. Uh, they're going to have their show where they, they maybe spend 30 minutes talking about your game. And that's that big media arc. That's that big net. Uh, people who follow the streamer who, who don't necessarily always play the same game he does, you get that game out in front of a lot of people. Next, you've got your stable of people, your, your streamer stable. They're going to play until the next big thing because streamers are there to increase their audience size. And then finally, you've got your content creators. And these are the people that you work a handshake deal with. Um, they're going to play your game anyway. They're people like me. I'm not an emissary. I'm not a content creator. I'm still making content today. Uh, but you help me grow. I help you grow. I do bless. I will be doing bless 101. I did Arcage 101. Uh, if I feel that uh, you're worth working with, I'll work with you. If I don't feel that you're worth working with, I don't have to work with you. Um, uh, it's one of those, if we're not on the same page, then we're not on the same page. Uh, I don't think I'd be making this video today if I was an emissary, at least not with this spin on it. And I'd rather be authentic. But you need to have content creators as the base of your pyramid. It's never going to work otherwise. Uh, the other one. This press conference was horrible. Now, I know what people are going to say, Jalan, what do you know about having press conferences? Uh, I know about having, you know press conferences not exactly under the term of press conference i've done them as briefings and when you show up to a briefing you need to have like boom 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 all your information all your ducks in a row because then creators like me can pick it up and run with it without having to spend seven hours wading through a bunch of just garbage to find the truffles so base price thirty dollars. Boom. That should have been that should have been point number one. Okay, guys, we're gonna release some information. Base price thirty dollars. Founders packs are forty, seventy, two hundred. Because let's be honest, let's stop pricing on the ninety nine mentality. Twenty nine ninety nine is thirty dollars. Thirty nine ninety nine is forty dollars. Let's stop the old the old marketing. It's old. It's tired. It's stop stop trying to be sneaky with it. Thirty nine ninety nine is forty dollars. Call it forty dollars. So Founders Pack, $40, here's what you get. $70, here's what you get. Two hundo, here's what you get. Subscriptions, $15 a month. But it gives what? Definitively, what does it give? Not, oh, well, it's going to be some... some uh, that, that's being mushmouth. Exactly what are the subscriptions going to give? That's what we needed to hear today. Uh, credits, Lumina, Cash Shop Currency, $10 per 400 But what precisely is in the Cash Shop? No mush mouth, no quibbling. Tell me what's in it. I, I get this bad fear that we're going to get, you know, this on launch day. We can't see all of the details about everything until the 28th. Um, bad play, bad move. Uh, and then today, you can't have spoilers and leaks and then not immediately address them. I don't know why companies even have leaks of this magnitude. How does your pricing get out there on your webpage uh, ahead of time? Uh, like... You don't accidentally post something on a web page. That that was either a deliberate spoiler, it was a deliberate leak, or somebody really royally screwed up. And that person honestly shouldn't be allowed near a computer with internet access again. Um, why did your press release sound like the person who was doing the presenting look like a cold reading? Uh, people need to be polished. They need to flow. Otherwise, if that is your public relations company your A team needs a whole lot of work because polished content creators should not be presenting stuff better than a professional company. In the military, we called this a goat rope. Uh, today's press release, press conference, just the way they treated the streamers, not letting them go, not getting them into a rhythm, hor horrible thing, man. Uh, go watch that footage for yourself. You got to see it. It's just bad. And that's all I got today, guys. I wanted to get just a clear, definitive video out today uh, so that people had the pricing, the dates, all those things, the pedigree information. If you want to talk more, here's all the ways to get in touch with me. Shoot me an email. Get me on Discord. That's the easiest. Jalan hashtag 8446. Or jump into my Discord. Uh, go to my webpage. Go to my Twitch channel. You can get into my Discord that way. Or there is the link uh, right there. 
Uh, join me on Wednesdays and Fridays on Paradoxical Impressions. That is my Twitch show. Uh, if you check out my show today, you'll see the video of a lot of blessed talk. And then I'll be cross-posting that uh, when my timer is up. And then as always, guys, thank you to all my uh, my sponsors. I'm going to be going to Bless. I made that decision this afternoon. So I will be giving away uh, probably uh, two copies of Bless, maybe three. Uh, I'm going to give one away via YouTube. Uh, let me get through the weekend and figure out how I'm going to do that one. But I will definitely give away a copy of Bless. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, take care. And I will see you on Wednesday at Paradoxical Impressions. Hey! Where are you going? You're not done yet. See these videos? There's videos up here to watch. You gotta go over here. Hit the chibi. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the webpage. And I'll see you guys on Twitch.